Hello and welcome to the third video in this mini-series looking at Mixamo characters in Unity. In this final video we're going to get the character to walk to wherever we click on the plane. So I'd like to explain sort of in diagram form how this is going to work. So if you imagine the camera being where our head is and the box here being the monitor, when we actually look at the game, although it's in 3D in Unity, we're looking actually at a 2D plane basically. So when we click with the mouse we're clicking on our monitor somewhere with an X and Y coordinate. And there's a function inside the API of Unity called Screen Point Array, which will draw a ray from the camera to wherever we have pointed. And this ray has an origin, which is at the camera, and then uses where we've pointed to make a direction on that ray. We can then use something called a ray cast, which will draw from an origin in a direction that we give a ray continuously until it hits something. And we can specify in Unity whether that should be a certain layer or a certain tag or anything in our case we're just going to keep going till we hit anything which will be the plane and when we hit something we'll get the point of which we've hit returned from this ray cast and therefore we have the target that we can set for our character to walk to. Now if I just drop into the Unity documentation you can find this screen point array here which explains that returns a ray going from the camera through a screen point and then the ray cast is also here which says create cast array from the origin point in direction direction for a length of max distance and tries to collide with something there's all sorts of detail in that and last but not least the actual ray itself as you can see here we have a direction and an origin so going back into Unity then let's double click on the boss controller and get writing this last little bit of code. So in the update function, the first thing we need to know is have we actually clicked the left button of the mouse somewhere? And to do that, we just type if input.getMouseButton down with an argument of zero. And if that's true, that means we've clicked the left mouse button. The next thing we want to do is we want to make this ray that goes from the camera to the point that we've clicked on the screen using screen point array. So we'll type then that ray, ray is equal to camera.main screen point to ray and it will take as an argument the position that we've clicked on the screen. To know whether our ray is actually going to hit anything, we need to use an object called a ray cast hit, which you can see in the documentation here. And amongst other things, this will return a point where it impacted something in our space, which will be the plane and the point we need then to set as the target. So we'll create our ray cast hit and call it hit info. And now if the ray cast returns true, then we know that we've hit something and we can use the information from our ray cast hit. So we can type if physics.raycast and then send in the origin of our ray, the direction of our ray and our hit info, then we can set our new target to be a new vector three using the hit info point X, turn our current position with the Y because we don't want to go up or down and then hit info point Z. And that'll then have the effect of sending this point as a new target for wherever we've clicked on the on the plane for our character to walk towards. So let's test that out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, rotate a little bit, select the camera and game object to align with view, and let's press play and see what happens. And we can see now as I click on the plane, the character is walking to follow the plane. The last thing I'd like to do then, I've been onto Mixamo and just selected uh, AJ, this, this sort of boy looking character here. I've already downloaded AJ as we did in the first video, uh, inside just the normal T pose. And now back in Unity, I'm going to take AJ and drag and drop the model into the assets. Click on AJ and do what we did previously, so make it humanoid, create from model, hit apply, go to the materials, extract the textures. Extract the materials. And now last but not least, drag AJ into the scene here. Click on AJ in the hierarchy and then on the right hand side just drop our animated controls that we use for the boss also onto AJ. And he should pick up the animation for walking as well. So let's give that a whirl. I'll just press play. And he doesn't because I've forgotten to add the boss controller onto AJ. So I'm just going to drag and drop the controller on here as well and press play again. And now we can see that AJ also starts walking towards the point that we press. Okay then, so that's it then for this little mini series. I hope that's helped you. I know it's something I struggled with when I started using many years ago Unity 3D was getting the Mixamo characters to work and with updated versions of Mixamo and Unity that's, that's always changing the little things that you need to do with the settings. But hopefully that's made some kind of sense and 
you're making things that look a little bit better than this. Uh, so yep, anyway, thanks for watching and see you in another video.